Hey everyone, it's Josie Belay here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I am going to talk you through about how I, my brain kind of processes things and how I come up with formulations. A lot of you guys in the salon and on social media, the number one question you guys ask me is what is the formula? So today I'm gonna to show you how my brain works. Today's inspo is going to be the now we're gonna move on to our second formulation, which is going to be, again, our prominent color, our lightest color in Schwarzkopf, that's gonna be 9.5-1, which is their Pastel series, so it's perfect for what we're making. Again, if you're not a Schwarzkopf professional user, um, that would be like a level nine, but make sure it's a really Pastel level nine or a level 10 in other color lines. And this is gonna be your prominent. So I'm gonna do only 10 grams of this one because we don't need a whole lot, we're doing test runs. And again, make sure you write down what you mix so that you know what to mix after your client is done processing. Okay, and then I'm only gonna do one gram this time of the 0 0.88. 0 0.88 has become one of my favorite colors actually to use in my formulations. It's super pretty, even with my platinum blondes. If you follow me on Josie Valet on Instagram, you'll see one of my favorite formulas on there that include red. I know, it sounds crazy. All right, now we're gonna mix in our secret sauce. So we did uh, one gram of 0-8. I'm probably gonna add, I'm gonna do five grams this time because I want it to be a very muted pink, giving me a total of 16 grams. So we're gonna do equal parts of developer, 16 grams of our developer. Making sure you really get that booster separated with your whisk because there's nothing worse than seeing those little red spots on your colors, especially when you're doing fashion colors like this. Okay, nice a new clean brush. And we're just gonna go again root to ends. Okay, and we're gonna put this bowl again to the side so that if you see something you like or don't like, you wanna add or take away, your base is here. All right, so now I'm gonna take a look at the first one I've done. It's been about five, 10 minutes since time has passed by. And when I do this, I always make sure I have a towel on hand just so that I'm kind of just giving it a little squish so we can see what it looks like. And look at that. It's already depositing so nice, so beautifully. But I do find it, to me, that's the perfect depth that I'm seeing in this rose. But I do also would like a lighter version of itself here. So what I'm gonna do, it's super simple, is I'm just gonna grab that first formula. I'm gonna grab another bowl. I'm gonna add some of that formulation into here. And I think I want it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to add more of my nine and a half dash one. I'm just gonna add 10 grams to get it a little bit lighter. But that, that also means I need to add 10 more grams of developer. And then we're gonna mix. And this will be, I'm gonna try and make our lightness with this formula here. Give it a good stir, break up all those tones so they can harmonize together and create a beautiful color. All right. So again, we're just gonna apply it here, root to end, and then we're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes because then you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like and what you need to do. Or what you want to add or not add or take away from. Okay, so we're just gonna let these formulate and then I'll show you guys the finished results. All right, so